Welcome to another episode of Stay Creative York County. This is Sarah. Hello. In today's episode, I'm going to be taking some oil-based Sharpie paint pens and a mug that I got from the dollar store and creating this washable, dishwasher safe mug. So what you're going to need for this are, as I said, some oil-based paint pens. Um, you can get these. I use Sharpie paint pens, but they come in different brands. You just need to make sure that they are oil based. Some come in medium tips, some come in fine tips. So just based off the designs that you want to do, you might want to consider that. The other thing is I got this mug from the Dollar Tree. Um, what's going to work best is going to be something that's cheap and has a thin glaze on it, just so our paint can cure onto it easier. To prepare your mug, you do want to wash it, but the best thing to do is to take a cotton ball or a cotton pad and some alcohol and clean the outside of any residue that might prevent the paint from curing onto your mug. You are also going to need, we're going to be using the oven to bake it. Um, so I used a baking sheet and of course you're going to want to use something to take out or to move anything that's hot if you need to check on it. Um, but we are not really going to be handling anything hot. You'll see when we get into the instructions. So I think that's it. Now, if you want to practice your design beforehand, you may want some paper and drawing utensils just to figure out what you want to put on there. It could be something complicated or detailed. It could be geometric shapes. It could be lines. It could be your name. You could write something out. And you can practice with the paint pen on paper first and then put it onto the mug. Usually you can clean something off if you make a mistake by again using a little bit of alcohol and wiping it onto the surface to get it off. But otherwise, just keep in mind if you have a medium tip or a thin tip uh, paint pen, I actually practice my designs, you'll see in the video, using a Sharpie pen because I knew that the paint pens were a medium tip, which is similar to the Sharpie tip. So that's what I used for that. So without further ado, let's get into the video and see how I made this. To get some inspiration for my coffee mug, I decided that I would go to Glen Karen and take a look at all the flowers and other plants there to see what I could be inspired by. Once I gathered my inspiration, I then took some paper and a Sharpie and started to recreate some of the things that I saw into simple patterns that I could draw with a paint pen. Once I had an idea of what I wanted to create, I also decided to sketch what I wanted to put onto the mug as it would go on. So I decided to go from a very short flower to a medium flower to a tall flower. I put those on the page just to see how they would line up and how I wanted to integrate them together. So now that I have my design, I am ready to practice with the paint pens. You have to shake your paint pens. They will say oil-based on it. 
So here's what they sound like when you shake them. Once you have it shaken up, you'll have to depress the tip a little bit. You'll see that as you push in, it pushes out the paint. So you want to make sure that you're not holding it down very hard or it will gather a lot of paint in the tip. So then I'm just going to use the same paper I did a sketch on and see how I want to use my colors. I only really have a gold and a black that will show up on my white ceramic mug. So I'm just deciding how I want to use those colors to create my design. You may have more colors, so just work with what you have and see what you can make. So you're going to want to clean your mug with some alcohol and a cotton swab on the outside. Make sure to take off any of the stickers you have. And for my design, I am going to stay away from the top of the mug, even though it may cure and be washable. I don't really want to have any paint near the lip where I'm going to be placing my mouth when I use it. So just keep that in mind too when you create your design. It's also really helpful with the paint pens since you do have to shake them and make sure that paint's getting to the tip just to have some spare paper around that you can doodle on or get the paint out on. Be careful as you're turning the mug not to accidentally touch something that's wet. I'm trying to be as careful as possible placing my fingers on the top and bottom of the mug. If you don't think you'd be able to do this, you could also put the mug upside down. Um, you could put it onto your hand, the other hand, um, and then use your dominant hand to draw on it. Or you might have something lay around you could prop it up onto so that you don't have to use your hands. So I've put all of the petals, I put a little bee on the handle and a heart underneath it. So now I'm just going to go back and put my stems and other little details. Try to make sure that the flowers look different on top and that their leaves also look a little different. Alright, so I think that this is my design. So I've got my bee on top of the handle, a heart underneath, and I have flowers all around. Make sure that your paint pins are closed all the way. You don't want those to dry out. Make sure that you let the paint pen dry onto the mug for 24 hours before putting it into the oven. I'm going to be setting my oven to 350. You want to put the mug onto a baking sheet and put it into the oven before it preheats. So you want the mug to heat up with the oven. So I'm going to let it go in there for 35 minutes. So carefully take your mug and place it in there. Or you could take your baking sheet since it is a cold oven at the beginning. Put the baking sheet in and then put the mug on top of it. Then once it is done baking, maybe just check on it if you'd like, but then you let the oven cool completely. You could prop the door open if you think that's safe, or you could just let it cool with the door shut. And when I say completely cool, I mean the oven is completely cool, the mug is cold to touch. This just makes sure that the paint has a long time to cure. The first thing I tested when I got it out was just putting my thumb onto the bee on top and that worked out really well. And there is our final product. Okay friends, and now we have our ceramic decorated personalized mug that we can use. 
I would have coffee, but it's actually kind of hot. So maybe I'll put some water in it later. <laughs> so friends, I hope you enjoyed personalizing or making this just cheap and easy to find little mug into something special. It's perfect for gifts. It's perfect for decoration too. If you can't find that particular design that you like, you can make it. Or if you have a design in mind that you saw, you can copy it onto here with your paint pens. Now, of course, I only use gold and black, but there are several different colors when it comes to paint pens that you can get creative and very colorful with it. Okay, friends, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed our little field trip to Glen Karen to get some inspiration for this mug. And I do want to remind everybody, when you go to the parks, remember to take only photos and leave only footprints. They're beautiful places that I absolutely love to go to when I have time, especially when we have beautiful weather, and I love them so much, so let's all take care of them together as a community. So friends, this is the end of the video, so remember to stay cool, stay safe, and as always, stay creative, York County. Thank you.